Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught our hour-long special video last night. It's very informative. Today, we'll be diving deep on the solar wind, something we're looking forward to with a mission to Mercury, and we're seeing a study on wind speed reveal what we would be expecting. We're starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, and it was relatively quiet up there. No big flares or eruptions, but there are plenty of thin, dark, snake-like plasma filaments turning into face Earth this week. We will have eyes on them. We had an interesting event in the solar wind. This is the telemetry here, and I want you to put your eyes on the blue panel. We'll add an arrow here, pointing to a shift in that data, and it represents a phi angle flip, basically a magnetic reversal in the solar wind. There was no additional shock wave from a CME or coronal hole, just the magnetism of the plasma stream, and it caused the BZ, the red line above, to dive majorly southward and allow plasma penetrations into the upper atmosphere. These caused a brief, low-level geomagnetic storm that has already waned back to normal conditions, but it is worth remembering. It's not just high-speed coronal hole streams and CME shock waves that can impact the Earth, but the magnetism of the solar wind as well. First article of note today is one on the magnetic field structures at Mercury as seen by the Messenger satellite about a decade ago. These are some of the features we're excited to see reanalyzed when Bepi Colombo arrives, and those features will be able to tell us if Mercury's magnetic field is changing as well, part of the overall ongoing solar system shift. We mentioned the major video last night. We put together all seven parts of the 2020 series on solar forcing, and those not only have a play in weather, in climate change, but they imply how and why the weakening magnetic field of Earth should allow the sun and solar wind to have extra impact on several different meteorological conditions. Today, we're seeing the damaging winds in the United States thunderstorms have had a major increase in area of impact. The article wastes no time blaming climate change and a warming world, but as we've seen several times, including in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun and in several papers since then, that the winds are impacted by solar wind conditions. And in the past, we've said to watch for major increases in damaging winds as Earth's magnetic field allows more solar energy into the Earth system. In case it wasn't clear, I'm not blaming a quote, warming world for these events, and observers have indeed been expecting them. We greatly appreciate your support. Catch last night's video if you missed it. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.